Well, the consequences of lockdowns in wealthier countries are also felt much further away. That's because migrants who normally send money back to families in their home countries have less work and thus less to send. These remittances, as they're called, are no small sum. They amounted to more than half a trillion U.S. dollars in 2019 worldwide. Now, that amount shrank noticeably last year as lockdowns bid in in the wealthy world, again limiting migrant work. Now, the World Bank believes this year will see even less money sent home. And that could mean even more families falling into poverty in places like Sub-Saharan Africa. Remittances there totaling $48 billion in 2019, nearly half of that, roughly $21 billion, going to Nigeria alone. Now, for more on this, I'm joined by DW correspondent in Nairobi, Joy Doreen Bira. Joy, good to see you. Um, what exactly does this effect have when there are fewer remittances going to Africa? What, what is the overall effect that you see? So African countries partly depend on remittances from the diaspora to develop the economy. So it is basically part of the budgetary planning uh, for economies on the African continent. And so the fall in remittances in countries like Nigeria would largely affect the economy because Nigeria is largely dependent on um, minerals, mineral resources and oil uh, the prices of crude oil dropped last year, which affected its budgetary allocations. And so that, coupled with a drop in remittances, was definitely grave on the economy. But countries like Kenya registered uh, a sharp rise in remittances in the year 2020. Okay, so not everyone following that trend that we've seen. Um, what are the prospects for migrant workers in their host countries in terms of getting vaccines, for example, getting back to work? Getting vaccines would largely depend on uh, the working conditions for them as migrant workers in those host countries, because uh, maybe, I don't know if for some of the wealthy countries, they're going to need that, or they're going to have a condition that for people to go back to work, they should be vaccinated. That is really going to depend on the working conditions in particular countries. Um, but in terms of how it's going to affect the remittances back home, uh, that is likely going to happen this year because the World Bank as well has predicted that remittances are likely to fall 7.5% in 2021. Uh, Joy, briefly, what can African countries do to make up for that loss in money? Is there anything? It's really very little that can be done. Um, I don't know if probably they could boost uh, the migrant workers' conditions if they can, but that's going to be a, a hard one really for African economies. But they can try to look into other areas uh, for revenue generation outside of the diaspora remittances, hopefully uh, to generate some more income to boost the economies. All right, Joy Doreen Bira in Nairobi, thank you.